Hearty welcome to All Knowledge Seekers to my channel. This is Dr. Madhusudan Rao Kadapa. In this video, I am going to explain the solution to a project using PERT. That is Program Evaluation and Review Technique. Here, we, we can see a set of activities like 1 to 2, 1 to 3, 1 to 4, 2 to 5, 3 to 5, 4 to 6 and 5 to 6. And uh, we have three different time estimates denoted as T0 for optimistic time, TM for most likely time and TP the pessimistic time estimates. Unlike CPM, CPM means uh, the critical path method where for all activities there will be only one time estimate because uh, CPM is uh, a deterministic model where the time estimates are known to be certain. If the time estimates for different activities are uncertain, then we will have three time estimates. One is based on the optimistic view. An optimistic view means that we assume everything will go right and nothing will go wrong. The material will be available, men will be available, no breakdown of machinery or no delays. So if everything goes right, in such case, the time taken to finish an activity is called optimistic time. Similarly, pessimistic time estimates are based on the assumption that everything will go wrong. That means there may be shortage of material or absenteeism of labor or delays in some processes or non-availability of funds or any other reasons which may cause delay in finishing the activities. So if everything goes wrong, then the time taken to finish these activities is called pessimistic time estimate. And there is a most likely time estimate which is in between the optimistic and pessimistic because it will never happen that everything goes right or everything goes wrong. There may be few things maybe go right or go wrong but not everything. So the most likely time estimates are the durations in which the activities can be finished. Assuming, the, assuming that neither optimistic nor pessimistic uh, point of view. So these are the three different time estimates and uh, now we have to find out the duration of the project using these three time estimates. Since these three time estimates are not certain we can assign some probabilities here. The probabilities assigned for optimistic time and pessimistic time are 1 by 6 and for most likely time it is 2 by 3. In such case, the expected duration of each and every activity can be found by using this relation. That is, the probability of optimistic time multiplied by corresponding optimistic time estimate plus two-third of most likely time and one-sixth of pessimistic time. This will give you the expected time for each and every activity. Now using this relation, we can calculate the expected durations for different activities. So this is a one uh, here, one simplification. Taking LCM 6, we will get T naught plus 4 into Tm plus Tp. Now for the first activity which is uh, 1 to 2, so here we have 1 plus 4 into 1, 4 plus 7 by 6 which is uh, 12 by 6, 2. In the same way for remaining activities also we can calculate. This is also 1 plus 4, 4 is 16 plus 7 by 6. 24 by 6 which is equal to 4 for the next activity which is 2 plus 2 4 is 8 plus 8 by 6 18 by 6 which is 3 and for the other activity 1 plus 4 plus 1 by 6 which is 6 by 6 1 and uh, for this activity it is uh, 2 plus 20 plus 14 by 6 36 by 6 which is 6 
and for this it is uh, 2 plus 5 fours are 20 plus 8 by 2 by 6 so 30 by 6 which is 5 and uh, for the last activity which is uh, 3 plus 24 plus 15 by 6 which is equal to 7 so this is how we can uh, estimate the expected time for different activities now the next step is to construct the network and find the critical path now for the given set of activities we can construct the network like this one is the starting node and we have three activities 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4 so 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4 these are the three activities with the durations 2, 4, 3 next 2 to 5, 3 to 5 then 4 to 6, 5 to 6 now the durations for these activities are 2 to 5, 1 3 to 5, 6 4 to 6 is 5 and 5 to 6 is 7 now let us estimate the earliest and the latest time for different activities now starting at node 1 t equal to 0 moving progressively for activity 1 to 2 it is the earliest finish time will be 0 plus 2 2 and for the node 3 it is 0 plus 4 4 for node 4 0 plus 3 3 now coming to node 5 we have two paths one is from 2 and one other is from 3 so if we move from 2 it is a 2 plus 1 3 but here it is 4 plus 6 10 considering the highest value it is 10 here and 10 plus 7 17 here if we come along this path it is 3 plus 5 8 considering the larger value which is 17 now moving in backward direction to find the latest finish and uh, latest start for different uh, events so here pl equal to 17 here it is uh, 17 minus 5 12 so for this particular activity we can start at the earliest by end of third week suppose all these time durations are in weeks we can uh, finish the first activity that is uh, 1 to 4 by end of three weeks and if we start at the earliest the next next activity that is 4 to 6 can be finished in 3 plus 5 so by the end of 8th week we can finish this but if we want to delay this activity at the most at the latest we can start this activity 4 to 6 by end of 12th week and 12 plus 5 by the end of 17th week we can finish the activity 4 to 6 so that is what these values mean now coming to this particular node tl equal to 17 minus 10 7 here it is uh, 10 minus 6 4 and coming to the first node we have three paths which is uh, uh, 2 to 1 here we have tl equal to for this node 10 minus 1 9 so 9 minus 2 7 if you come along this path it is uh, 12 minus 3 9 and if you come along this path it is 4 minus 4 0 considering shorter one for this particular node so this is how we can uh, mark the earliest and latest times for different activities at different nodes now we have the critical path so in order to identify the critical path we have to check those nodes for which te equal to tl so here we have nodes 1, 3, 5 and 6 which have 
T equal to T L. So, so here it is uh, 17 minus 7, 10. 10 minus 6 is 4, right. So, critical path is 1, 3, 5, 6. And uh, the project duration, expected project duration is 17 weeks. So, this is how we can use uh, the network to find the expected duration of the project. Since this is a, a probabilistic model where the time estimates are probabilistic, we can't say exactly with certainty that the project will be finished by 17 weeks because all time estimates are probabilistic. In such case, we have to find out what is the probability that the project will be finished within the given time, not necessarily 17. Uh, we can uh, find out for different scheduled durations. In order to find that, we have to calculate the variance. Now, variance is Tp minus T0 by 6 whole square. This is the expression for variance for each and every activity. Now, here we have 7 minus 1, 6 by 6, 1, 1 square 1, this one also 1. And here it is 8 minus 2, 6, 6 by 6, 1. And here it is 1 minus 1, 0. 0 by 6, so 0 square 0. 14 minus 2, 12. 12 by 6, it is 2, 2 square 4. 8 minus 2, which is uh, 6, 6 by 6, 1. 15 minus 3, 12. 12 by 6, which is, which is 2. 2 square is 4. Now, these are the variances for different uh, activities. In order to find out the variance for the project, we have to consider only the activities along the critical path. Now, for critical path, we have 1 to 3, the variance is 1, plus 3 to 5, the variance is 4, plus 5 to 6, the variance is again 4, which is equal to 9. So, the total variance is equal to sigma square equal to 9, which implies sigma, the standard deviation equal to square root of 9, which is equal to 3. So this is how we can uh, find out the variance and standard deviation. Now we have to use a relation to estimate the probability that the project will be finished within the given duration of time. Now, we have the critical path 1, 3, 5, 6 and uh, the total duration of the project is 17 weeks. Suppose we were given a question to find what is the probability that the project will be finished within 13 weeks or 21 weeks. For that, we use the normal deviate z equal to Ts minus Te by sigma. Now for, suppose, if we want to find out the probability that the project will be finished in 13 weeks, then scheduled duration is 13 weeks and expected duration is uh, 17 weeks by standard deviation is 3. So, standard deviation is 3, which is equal to minus 4 by 3 minus 1.33. Now if we look at the normal distribution table from which for minus 1.33 the corresponding probability is 0 0.0918 which means that the probability of completing the project within 13 weeks is only 9.18%. Similarly, if you want to find out what is the probability that the project will be finished in 21 weeks, here we have considered the scheduled duration to be 4 weeks less than the expected duration. Now in this case, in this case we got the probability is very less, 9.18%. Suppose if you want to find out the probability of finishing the project within 21 weeks, in general what we think is that 21 is much more than 17. so definitely we can finish the project with 100% probability. But if you calculate z value for this, which is uh, 21 minus 17 by 3, 
which is 1.33 plus 1.33 for this you will get probability as 90.982 percent that means one minus of this which is 90.82 percent so still within 21 weeks also we can say that the probability of finishing the project is 90.8 percent only so this is how we can uh, estimate the expected duration of the project and the probability that the project will be completed within the scheduled duration thank you very much in some other video i will explain some other interesting concepts in network analysis and project management thank you